Item Number SCP-2171 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures All areas affected by SCP-2171 are to be placed under permanent video surveillance and or botanical field supervision, on a case-by-case -case basis. New instances of SCP-2171 should be subject to a thorough botanical analysis and, when necessary, restored through environmental engineering operations conducted by Containment Task Force Row 6 Green Gale personnel. During seasonal autumn and until the demanifestation of all SCP-2171-1 entities, areas affected by SCP-2171 are to remain closed to all civilian transit. SCP-2171 is a seasonal phenomenon involving the fallen leaves of all deciduous trees rooted within the confines of certain areas, henceforth the area. There seems to be no specific pattern that may be used to predict the potential occurrence of new locations of interest affected by SCP-2171. Reference SCP-2171 Maps, LOI-2171-1. Leaves fallen within the area during seasonal autumn will invariably form large piles that will remain unaffected by local weather until all deciduous trees are completely defoliated. Piles of leaves affected by SCP-2171 will slide slowly, forming windrows of varying width. These SCP-2171 windrows will eventually manifest instances of SCP-2171-1 at the front end. SCP-2171-1 are humanoid entities composed entirely of SCP-2171 affected leaves that appear to guide the SCP-2171 windrows. SCP-2171-1 entities are fragile but capable of movement, yet apparently impervious to hostile weather conditions. SCP-2171-1 emit repetitive vocalizations that may involve speech in various languages see Addendum 2171-02, and have a tendency to hook dried leaves on tree branches across the perimeter of SCP-2171 areas, or string leaves between trees that delineate this perimeter. Given their behavior, SCP-2171-1 instances are currently believed to be sapient. However, SCP-2171-1 instances will only react when the integrity of the SCP-2171 windrows they grow from is compromised in any way. SCP-2171-1 will react violently against any element disrupting the SCP-2171 windrows. Such reaction will include various vocalizations in a much lower pitch. See Addendum 2171-02. A considerable growth in size by drawing mass from the SCP-2171 windrow to which the entity pertains, and persistent attempts at enveloping the disturbing element in a thick cover of SCP-2171 affected leaves. Once covered, the element will appear to dematerialize, being replaced by a similar volume of fallen leaves. SCP-2171's anomalous properties will typically disappear after two or three days of continuous activity. SCP-2171-01 Environmental Status and Locations of Interest Affected by SCP-2171 Special SCP-2171 Report 2. Area 08 RARP and Archival Personnel, Pertinent Level 5 Personnel From Row 6 Field Commander Reference Environmental Consequences of SCP-2171 Anomalous Effects Long-term analysis of areas affected by SCP-2171 has confirmed that the anomaly seems to cause previously unforeseen anomalous effects in the area it affects, such as The local degradation of previously existing fauna and flora. This degradation most likely occurs due to the effects of SCP-2171-1 in the indigenous population of animal species in the LOI-2171 which is causing a loss of biodiversity in the larger affected locations. The Manifestation of Anomalous Flora of Unknown Origin See Addendum 2171-02 for a basic reference of anomalous plant life related to SCP-2171 manifestations. See Document 2171-Row-6-10 for a more comprehensive list, including all known SCP-2171-related species. 
the progressive substitution of local soil materials. Substances atypical to the local parent material tend to appear in affected areas. Among these substances, various calcite and quartz-derived crystals are usual in most locations. These materials do not demonstrate anomalous properties of their own. The absence of any other anomalous activities in the SCP-2171 affected area. According to the Foundation records on those LOI-2171 historically affected by local anomalous events, such events disappeared entirely in all regions affected by SCP-2171, with the exceptions of SCP and SCP. This remains an unexplained issue, and thus a high priority for the Reality Alteration Research Program, based on Area 08, both to improve SCP-2171's containment and the possible exploitation of this effect. SCP-2171's containment procedures have been adjusted to address these anomalous properties. Addendum 2171-02 Registered Vocalizations from SCP-2171-1 Extract A log of recurring SCP-2171-1 instances and their vocalizations follows. Recordings of SCP-2171-1 vocalizations usually register as indistinct sounds of rustling leaves. Therefore, this log is composed entirely of accounts collected by field agents. SCP-2171-1-004 Location: LOI-2171-03 Miguel Servet Park, Huesca, Spain No anomalous flora detected. Language: Entity speaks in Fabla, regional Aragonian dialect. Message. It's so nice, so peaceful here. I'd like to stay here for a while, if you don't mind, sweetie. Go to your mother. Entity Description Instance manifests along a seat. Instance sits for a minute, then appears to fall forward, making the windrow advance in the process. A smaller silent instance manifests alongside the first, kneeling beside it and interacting with it. Original instance reforms. SCP-2171-1-019 Location: LOI-2171-009 Shores of Lake Tissa, or Tabaji National Park, Hungary Anomalous flora include several orchid species, with kinestinastic black flowers and highly allergenic, needle-like stamens connected to sacs of a volatile substance that acts as propellant. Kinestinastic means capacity for non-growth plant movements towards moving objects. Language. Entity speaks in Old Hungarian. Message. Oh, I love it when they dance. Entity Description. Instance resembles a young man aiming and shooting with bow and arrow while walking backwards, apparently attacking the Windrow. SCP-2171-1-020 Location. LOI-2171-013 Abruzzo National Park, Italy Anomalous flora includes cupressaceae trees that tend to root in circular groups of 3 to 20 instances. Trunks grow extremely rapidly in mesh-forming net-like patterns, which result in large, structurally stable cylindrical arrangements. Structures produced this way decay when the involved trees die, leaving large superstructures of quickly petrified wood that measure up to 300 meters before reducing rate of growth to normal levels. These structures possess windows, balconies, gates and stairs arranged in regular positions. Language. Entity speaks in Etruscan. Message. They will pierce the skies. They will be the sole testament to our greatness under that strange sky of yours. Entity Description. Instant holds what appears to be a large scroll and several unidentified instruments. SCP-2171-1-055 Location. LOI-2171-011 an elevation close to Lake McDonald, Glacier National Park, United States. Anomalous flora includes a terrestrial Nufer species with a highly reflective material covering the inside of its petals. Petals open during nights with moonlight. Language: Entity speaks in American English. Message: You are so beautiful, my sweet little chica, like a little midnight rose, like a blood and green opal. Instant remains silent for 10 to 13 seconds. I will miss you when you're gone. Entity Description Instance appears to be laying down on its windrow, looking at its right side. Immediately after vocalized message, 
Instance moves an arm to the right side and seems to caress an unseen item. SCP-2171-1-071 Location LOI-2171-090 Lone dead oak in the prison field of Germany Oak generates dried leaves every autumn. Language Entity speaks in a language resembling Mozarabic. Message I loved him. I loved him. Why did he go away? Why? Why did he have to go away? I don't care about the world. I only care about him. Why did he have to go to the other court? You are his friend. He will listen. Please go fetch him, Miguel. Please, bring him back to me. Entity Description Instance cries for 10 to 13 minutes, vocalizing message during the last 53 seconds of the cycle. SCP-2171-1-105 Location Entity detected when Agent accidentally interacted with its Windrow during a night raid on the suspected residence of one Miguel Servato, person of interest. Agent withdrew to the perimeter of the area, from where Instance delivered the following message. Area reclassified LOI-2171-139, part of the forest within the Ordesa Yamante Perdido National Park, Spain. LOI currently undergoing botanical analysis. Language. Entity speaks at what would later identify as low palation. Message. We always feel cold, now that the sun is gone. Cold under the rain and the shade and the snow. We will never go back home. We don't belong. We don't sing. We don't clap. Our voice is strong. Our mouth shut. We drank daylight. But it was sun. He left us crumbled and snapped like brittle bone. We drop and rot and end eaten by insects, built and worms, stepped on, stepped on. So there may be a next fall, but heed me. You I came to warn, let us bring to your land our master's own. Entity Description Entity repeated message from this point onward. Agent withdrew further from area once she was certain that Entity would not respond to her attempts at communication. SCP-2171-1-107 Location Entity detected during a raid on LOI-2171-139 CTF Row 6, Green Gale, deployed after a previous raid on Servato's hiding place was called off due to the presence of a number of SCP-2171 instances. Language Entity speaks in what would later identify as high palation. Message Emotions, Miguel. Emotions are a link, a tie, a chain. We have to be strong enough to use them as such when necessary, and to discard them when they tie us down. For the example's sake, imagine you have to tear a continent apart from the others, make them slide away, sailing over the ocean of clouds. How would you pry them open and separate them? Entity remains silent for three seconds. With hatred. And how would you bring them together? Entity remains silent for 13 seconds, then smiles. Very good, child. Entity Description Entity wears clothing similar to what seems to be traditional Palatian teachers. For further information on the Palatian schools, contact the Archive Sector of Area 08, Incunabula Analysis Group.